Mm-hmm. Let me get the phone because y'all about to clutch y'all pearls at what I'm about to tell y'all. So, um, I came across this story this morning on Twitter, actually. One of my friends was ranting and raving, going live on five about it. And I was like, well, what, what, what happened? So, I Googled it. I got on TMZ and I found the story. Um, Terrence Howard. For you guys who don't know, Terrence Howard's from Cleveland. He actually went to school with my mom, which is very ironic that I'm about to sit and read him the way I am, and my mother probably knows him. I mean, I'm sure he probably doesn't know, like, know her now because he's, you know, a Terrence Howard, but you see my mom's yearbook. He's sitting in the yearbook looking just like he looks now, yellow and with the little eyes and things of that nature, but that's anything to know there. So Terrence Howard made some statements, some statements that will put him into the category of which I would like to call a racist. So, um, here's his statement. I'm going to read it to y'all. I'm going to read. And then I'm going to let y'all read in the gotcha gotcha bar. So, um, Terrence Howard gave an interview on discussing the Ray Rick or Rick Rice. What's his name? Ray Rice. <laughs> Rick Rice. Discussing the whole Rick, Ray Rice situation. And here's what Terrence Howard had to say. Um, he says, wow, Ray Rice, nah, bruh. Well, I guess he had to learn the hard way. His life is ruined. He lost tens of millions of dollars. De this is when it gets racist. Dating black women will ruin your life. They always ruin a successful black man, and they wonder why we are running from them in droves. More of the story, leave the black woman in the ghetto, Can you or get you a white girl. Th these are words that came out of his mouth. I couldn't make this up, okay? Now, Terrence Howard being a part of the African-American community, contrary to his skin color, um, I'm just trying to figure out where to start. <laughs> Terrence Howard, and you know, Terrence Howard is one of those um, black celebrities who I've always, I've never seen with a black woman. I've always seen him with a white or European, or Caucasian or whatever the word you would like to use politically correctly. He ain't never, I ain't never seen him in no picture with no black woman, ever. So, in regards to that, Terrence, I just want to know, that is some self-hate like I've ever said. Now, I don't know your family history. I don't know whether your mama or your daddy black, but one of them is black. I can guarantee you that much, if not both of them. Because sometimes two black people can come together and the baby comes out lighter than both of them. And then they're just trying to, then they think somebody's cheating, then they go on Maury, and it's just like a whole big mess. But sometimes that's just how it happens. I don't know if that's a type of Terrence. That's Kim. I don't know if that um, is how it happened with Terrence, but Terrence, for you to be black or of the African American community, whatever you guys want to call it, and you to make these statements, let me tell you, all those black women that you, um, that actually be groveling at your feet and falling over, oh, it's Terrence Howard, look at them eyes. Him and that other one, um, Ely, Michael Ely. Them eyes in the skin. I don't know if it's the skin color that match the contrast of the eyes that make women go crazy, but that's neither here nor there. Um, all those black women, guess what? You just diminished that fan base completely. It's done. And I wasn't a huge fan of Terrence Howard anyway, but, um, and shit, I'm not a black woman, so I have no reason to be upset. However, it's <laughs> my mother is a black woman, and contrary to popular belief, and I have black women that are friends. And just, Terrence, why would you make this statement? Do you know, now your endorsement is about to go down the drain. Because I don't think many people would support you knowing, like, what if the person, the next, your next co-star, Taraji P. Henson is a black woman. And she was in that movie with you, um, uh, Whoop That Trick. Was she in Hustle and Flow? I believe she was in Hustle and Flow. She's been in a couple of movies with Terrence. So, I don't believe you would make these kind of statements, Terrence. However, um, I'll let you know this. You ain't got to worry about no black women coming to see your movies no more. And if they do come, or if they do see them, they're going to be on bootleg. So, your pocket's about to bleed from this. Because um, them, them some harsh work. Lead a black women in the ghetto. And you went to John Adams. Let me tell y'all where John Adams is. John Adams is on 116th. Well, it's actually on MLK. Any streets, they put MLK. For some reason, ironically, every city in America. If there's an MLK, it's like the hood. For some reason. I don't know why. But here in Cleveland, MLK is like the hood. All the way from the top to the bottom. It's just, it's no, it's no good. So, John Adams is down. That's high school he went to. 
Now, I don't want y'all... <laughs> I don't think he knew I was going to pull his card, but <laughs> that's what you get for reading and not knowing who you're reading to. But yeah, you went to John M. So you went to school with a bunch of, guess what? Black women. So, um, Terrence Howard, get your life, fix your life. What y'all think about Terrence Howard? Well, what y'all think about him now that I just spilled this tea on him? Let me know down in the gotcha gotcha bar. He dead ass wrong. I don't believe he made these statements.